Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. For you guys there in the state of Washington, some of you had a bit of an early morning, late last night, shaking near Fall City, Washington. There was a magnitude 3.8 that woke a lot of you up. This was probably related to the Rattlesnake Mountain Fault. Let me show you. It's actually a very wide area, this fault system. Um, is that and it runs into drawn out in red here do I have it written down yeah Wibley Island Fault and that runs all the way out probably out to where they had the uh, major earthquake in 1700 that caused the uh, Cascadia subduction zone to rupture yeah this area is capable of having a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake. So here we have the Rattlesnake Mountain Fault Zone. It's drawn out in the lighter orange. I don't know. I can't make it very much bigger, can I? But that is probably the fault zone that is responsible for the earthquake. And a lot of people said they felt this quake. Here is the felt report that was sent into. USGS okay a little bit south Fall City said it was intensity level 4 there was another one um, gold bar intensity level 4 and I believe the other ones were intensity level 3 yeah all the way up there um, by the Pugent Sound Oak Harbor yeah it was felt over a fairly large area now, intensity level 4 means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, they would have been woken up. Yep, there was reports, and I'll show you that in a minute, of being woken up. Their dishes and windows would have been rattling and automobiles rocked noticeably. Yeah, 3.17 a.m. Yeah, you're trying to sleep for work and yeah, get a rude awakening and wondering if there's going to be another one much larger within the next few minutes here is a report from north bend it says everything in the house shook for about eight seconds we've all said that there was quick three quick shakes woke them up out of their bed no damage well that's good let's see redmond slight jolt then a shake for a couple of seconds monroe um it's along the same fault line i believe woke them up they were upstairs bedroom the bed was vibrating another one from Monroe house gave a big jolt just once you yeah, know the fault moved and then in Arlington they said they felt and heard it while they were in bed more than likely most of you are prepared for a large earthquake like I said this area is capable of having a magnitude 7 or greater um, if not please get prepared so within the last 24 hours there has been eight earthquakes uh, since the initial um, 3.8 there's been a 1.5 which was 10 kilometers in depth of 0 0.7 a 1.9 another one um, 0 0.9 excuse me a 2.1 and a 0 0.7 you're probably wondering if you're feeling these if it's gonna stop shaking Prior to this 3.8, there was a 1.6. Yeah, that's probably the foreshock. And as you know, any earthquake has a chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. So there still could be a larger earthquake coming sometime, you know, in the near future. I hope you're prepared. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.